Okay, next we have routers, and a router, as you may guess, connects different networks together and allows you to route traffic between them. They have two or more network connections, which have valid IP addresses on each network. All right, so it has to have an IP address on each network in order to be able to communicate between the two. And it decides basically whether to keep traffic local or route to a remote network based upon the source and destination IP addresses. And as we know, routers can provide firewall functionality. So again, the firewall will block unwanted traffic and connect internet, uh, internal networks to the internet. So in this small example I have here, like I said, I have internal network one and internal network two. Then I have the router, which is uh, indicated by that orange arrow out to the internet. That router will provide NAT functionality. Again, it will hide all the IP addresses from uh, the machine's internal and it will mask it basically so that it appears to all be coming through the IP address associated with the router. And it will, again, connect these different networks together. If I don't know where to send it, then I'll send it out to the internet. Routers can be configured as static or dynamic. All right, so what do I mean by that? A statically configured router means you have to go in manually and actually enter all the routes into each router on the network. <laughs> it's pretty much a pain. No one really does that for any network of any size. There are some small networks that that may be advantageous, but typically you're going to have it be dynamic. All right, dynamic routers, they learn from, from each other. The routers will broadcast what the routes that they know about, and they'll talk to each other and say, hey, I know about ABC. This router says, hey, I know about DE and F. And as they communicate, pretty soon, all routers kind of know about everybody else, or at least they know where to send it to next. All right, so an example of a router you can see here is a Cisco one that just popped up from the bottom. It has a number of different types of interfaces, and it can, again, span one or more networks. It can be fiber connected. It can be uh, copper connected. It really just depends upon the model and, and the price point. Uh, some common routing protocols for uh, routers are going to be RIP, or Routing Information Protocol, OSPF, Open Shortest Path First, kind of internal routing protocols, and then we have uh, Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol, again, an interior protocol, meaning in internal to a network, and then we have BGP, Border Gateway Protocol, which, are, uh, which is an exterior protocol, typically connecting uh, networks that are not owned by the same company or are not on the same network. So make, you know, basically uh, the, the different routers and so forth on the internet.